Hey everybody, Jeff Elvin here with Balin Brands and today I wanted to show you how to add a form on the website and then be able to deliver a PDF. Let's say for example it's a lead capture form so we want to offer something of value on the website and but we want to make sure we know who's downloading that information. So we get this question quite a bit so we want to go ahead and just make this video and keep it simple for everybody. So here we are on the balanbrands.com website and this is a WordPress website so that's where I'm going to focus this particular session. So when I go to the WordPress admin I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay so once I'm logged in here uh, what we're going to find is there's there's lots of different information on the dashboards they are very customizable but we're going to focus here on forms in particular. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the actual PDF file that we want to use is uploaded to the website so that we're able to deliver that via a link. So I'm going to click here on media. We'll see the media items in here. We'll go ahead and click on add new or of course we can just click on under media add new that way. And then we're going to select the file that we want to add. So I'm just going to use a, a sample file here. Let me go ahead and pull one up. I have quite a bit. So let's say 18 steps to command. It's a PDF file and for KW agents this is a PDF that Lori Ballin had created for Keller Williams agents. So okay we see that go ahead and or we can see that here uploading. So once we upload that we can actually grab the link itself uh, in order to that this is the link ultimately that we're going to be delivering to somebody after they fill out our form. Okay. So then the next step is, is we want to go ahead and create the form itself. So we use what's called Ninja Forms. Um, it's a free plugin. They have some additional features that you can add on if you felt necessary. But if you don't have a form program or something like Ninja Forms already, then we can, you know, I would suggest you go ahead and go under your plugins and add new plugin and get that installed. So here we're going to go to Ninja Forms and we're going to go ahead and click on Add New. And we can have kind of a, they have these default ones here that we can use. So file upload, if, if you want people to upload a file to you, things like that. I'm just going to go to blank form so we can show you how that works here. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is adding form fields. Well, what information do we want to collect in order to, uh, you know, in order to deliver this PDF file? So obviously we want to know who they are. So I'm going to go ahead and drag over first name. And then I'm going to drag over last name. Okay, and then let's say we want their email address. And we like to collect phone number whenever possible. And it, obviously this depends on how much information you're trying to get from them based on what you're giving to them. So if it's a simple PDF and you just want to track how many times it's downloaded and who it was, you know, email address may be just fine. If it's something a little more sophisticated like financial advice or something like that on your website then you might want to ask more specific information. Uh, the more information you ask typically the more what they consider barrier to entry so you're going to have a few less people maybe that fill that out because they're not they're not necessarily interested enough to give you that but a lot of people give you an email address at least at a minimum. So now that we have that um, next to each option so we see first name we have this little button so this will take us and now we can decide whether it's required or not so yes we want at least a first name maybe we don't require last name we definitely want their email address so we'll go to required there and again the phone number maybe you don't require it if if you want to get it maybe give a chance well then they can fill that out but if you don't then we'll go ahead and require okay so then we're going to go ahead and hit done there so next we're going to go to emails and actions. So by default we have this success message, we have an admin email address, and we have a store submission. So what this is saying is it's going to store the actual uh, lead, whoever it was, in your Infusionsoft, I'm sorry, in your WordPress dashboard. Um, it's going to save it in Ninja Files so that you can always reference that back. Admin email is going to be an email notification that's sent and then success message is what the actual end user sees. So again, we're going to go ahead and click on edit for each of these. Okay, so we're going to start down here at store submission. So it's pretty straightforward that we're just going to go ahead and store that. So we're good to go there. We're going to go to admin email. 
So action name, that it's an admin email, and who is it to? So by default, it's showing that it's going to go to whatever the email address is on file for WordPress. So if that's you, if you're an individual owner and that's set to you, well, then that's just fine. If it is somebody else, maybe you have a team member you'd like that information to go to, you can change that here, or you could also add commas and add additional people as well. Okay, so that's completely up to you to, to go ahead and customize that. Uh, the subject line, we do like to update the subject line. By default, it says Ninja Form Submission, but we might want to say, you know, 18 steps ebook download. So we know which one it is because maybe we have multiple forms on the website that are feeding us information. And then you have an email message. So by default, it has this little marker that says fields table, which basically just means it's going to feed you the same information that you have over here on form fields. You could also put something more specific. Again, this is what goes to you. So this lead below filled out the 18 steps form. Please follow up, right? You can, you can say whatever you'd like here and then have the details, but you definitely want to see what they submitted typically in the email itself. Okay, there's some advanced fields and things you can do. I'm not going to get into that because they're not required or necessary unless you're trying to do more. Of course, at that point, feel free to, to jump in there and check around. All right, then the last one is success message. So when I go to the success message, it's by default it just says your form has been successfully submitted. Well, think of it this way. If this particular lead is just interested in the ebook they're not they don't want to be told they just submitted a form I mean obviously they can see that so what we'd like to say is congratulations something like that right Congla congratulations you have just unlocked your ebook something like that okay and then what we do is I had remember I had already copied from the media section what we're doing so uh, we can simply do a click here to download okay now we can center this if we want um, oops I did a bullet point not bullet click here to download okay so if we're centering it we could do that and then basically we're just gonna make it a link so we can click this little link and we paste in that URL that we had used okay and then we have the option to open it in a new window if we need to but that's not necessary so we're just gonna go ahead and insert and there you go. So they're going to fill out the form and then it's going to say, Congratulations, you've just unlocked your ebook. Click here to download. Okay? So say, Click here to download now. Now, you can make this a lot more sophisticated. You can add media and pictures. You can have a picture of the cover of the ebook and make that a link. But for the purpose of this demo, I just wanted to kind of walk you through those steps. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit Done and Publish. And we can give it a title. So 18 steps ebook and hit publish okay so now that this is published I can exit out so the only thing that we're missing at this point we have it set up in there but what we're missing is what page to actually send them to okay the form doesn't actually exist anywhere on the website so we're gonna go ahead and go to pages and click add new and we're gonna call this 18 steps ebook for example and then down here, this is the Gutenberg interface for WordPress. So down here, we're going to simply add a content block. And you'll actually see, I can type in Ninja Forms because it's a common block that we can use. So let me go ahead and select that. And all I do here is just select it. So now I'm going to click on 18 Steps eBook. And it's going to actually drop in the form itself. So of course I can have content above and below it. Right now it's just a simple form. We can preview it here. So it just says 18 steps ebook. Now it repeats it again because we have 18 steps ebook as the form title um, of the form that's being filled in. So we don't necessarily need that twice. So here I might go ahead and do um, 18 steps ebook for Keller Williams agents. Right in this particular case, that's what that's for. Um, and then in this form, I can go manipulate other settings back in the form to not show the title and things like that. But right here, we're pretty good to go, it looks like. So I, if I wanted to add more content, of course, above it, then below here, I'm going to add a paragraph block. And I can type in, you know, get the best resource for building out your new database. All right. So here's an option there. Um, and then again, I could put a, a copy or a cover on it. 
um, some sort of image or something on there is, is just fine. Okay, so we got that all set up and that's your regular page and then I just go ahead and click publish. So then that page will actually exist. We have now uploaded a PDF file. We have created a form to actually collect the PDF, uh, I'm sorry, to collect the lead information. And then at the end of that form, we deliver them the PDF, uh, an immediate download. So hopefully that helps you here with some of your lead data and your um, you know, lead conversion on the website. If you have any questions, by all means, please reach out to us at team at or of course our website, balanbrands.com.